So you're live. Hello, my name is Andrew Amanda Lee Bullard. I'm with, uh, from the Episcopal Diocese of Western Massachusetts and I'm here with the Episcopal Peace Fellowship Young Adult Delegation. I came to General Convention because I wanted to share my experience as a non-binary transgender person who has continued to experience discrimination in the church in various levels. One of the most prevalent for me is in our language. Throughout our liturgies, throughout our prayer book, in our conversations, I frequently hear phrases like sons and daughters, women and men, all of which create spaces that make it hard for me to exist and I'd say that I need to go out of my way to declare that our God is big enough to make people of many genders, of many identities, of many experiences. I believe that to change that we just need to pay more attention to the words we use. Instead of sons and daughters, descendants, children, instead of women and men, people, humans, you know, instead of brothers and sisters, siblings, our human family. I also am very concerned about bathrooms. Um, I actually attempted an action to liberate the bathrooms of General Convention, putting a sign up that said that they were no longer open for gender policing. What happened was that within 30 minutes of having these signs up, I was approached by two security officers and a representative of the church who told me that if I tried to do anything like that again after being told no, I would be escorted from the premises. Now the reason we need bathrooms to be open to people of all genders is that when bathrooms are gender segregated, it encourages gender policing. That is, people will walk into a bathroom, see someone that looks different from their expectations, and tell them that they shouldn't be there, that they should leave. I've even been confronted by armed security because I was seen as being in the wrong restroom. As a non-binary trans person who is able-bodied and doesn't have a family, I feel awkward using any gender-divided restrooms. Unisex restrooms are uncomfortable because I feel like I'm taking up space from people who have caretakers or have young children who need to be with them. When I enter the women's room, I get told that I look too masculine. When I enter the men's room, I get told I look too feminine. So I believe that it is important that we just take down the signs. It is very easy to do. All we have to do is accept that we as people don't have the right to judge other people based on how they look. And that when somebody enters the restroom, they're there to pee, or to do their hair, or to wash their hands. These are things that we as human beings all have in common. And so I ask that in our words and in our actions, we create a space for all people to celebrate in this church. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome.